You can see I've got some beans and squash and that in here that we're getting ready to move out into the regular garden as soon as we can. I've got a few green onions growing there, some Swiss chard and beet and that. But here's the key to my whole coal frame. These are a heater that I made using PTC heat elements. Now there's five of them in each one of these heaters. See right now we're at 64 degrees out here. Uh, let me just hit that. Now you can see that depending on where you hit that, the temperature is up into that mid 300s. And same with this one down here. And it's up there in that 300 area. Now, what these are, they're 12 volt heat elements that I've got put in a can of sand. And I took 10 foot of quarter inch copper tubing, crimped it on each end, and uh, took and bent it into a coil around a can of uh, green beans. And using a can of crab meat, it fit just perfectly with those heat elements in there, and it sandwiches them in real tight and gives it that heat. Now, these things have been going since November. So we've got over six months on them, and they still just keep cranking out. All right, I want to show you how to, I made this. I'm just going to take it apart and... Uh, put it back together. Now, I turned this thing off probably over a half hour ago, and I don't know if you can see this, but the temperature on them rocks that I had in the bottom of this are still over 170 degrees. Okay, uh, now what I've done is I have five of these PTC heat elements. They're uh, 12 volt 50 watt and they get up to 423 degrees something like that Fahrenheit now these things only measure about an inch and a half by three quarters of an inch they're 12 volt so you'll just take I have five of them in here so I have five of the red wires all hooked together for positive and five of the black ones all hooked together for the negative now all I've done is I made a coil here out of quarter inch copper tubing. Now they're 10 foot long. At Lowe's they sell the five foot length for eight dollars and ten foot for nine dollars. So if you're ever going to take and use copper tubing from Lowe's be sure and cash in and get the 10 foot length. Okay, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this element and it'll slip right in between this coil that I made. I used this crab meat can and I took a can of uh, green beans and wrapped this quarter inch tubing around it and made a coil. And these heat elements will just slip in there tight on both sides. It was the perfect size doing that with it. So I'm going to just slip this down in there just like that. Now the heat doesn't seem to hurt these wires. They're a silicone type uh, insulation on there. Now when you get that all situated in there, now I took these rocks and put them in the bottom just to, to fill up space and they do hold heat. And I'm just going to take this sand and fill in. Try not to make a mess. I'm on the wife's dining room table. And uh, so I'm trying to keep this as sanitary as I can. This sand is still hot too. Now once I get it in there, I want to fill that sand in between the can and the coil. Okay, we got that all in there. We'll... Tamp that down a little. And now I've got a flower pot here that I just put a piece of foil in the bottom of that. I'm going to set that on this and we'll take and put
put some sand in the bottom of that. Still making a mess, but at least I put something on the table to protect it. Okay, got that in there. Now I can put this can right down in there and fill in around that with more sand. Okay, let's take this sand here and see if I can get any of that out of there. If not, I'm not going to worry about it. I can just dump it all outside. Okay, let's hook this up to our power supply. I have a 12 volt 30 amp power supply here. You probably won't be able to see this on camera, but uh, there's three terminals here that are positive, three that are negative, and I have the one for my uh, my plug. I'm going to take and run the red to the positive. I'll just screw that one down. I'm going to take the blue to the negative. Now this is DC, so it's not going to matter on the, the two 12 volt leads. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this in. Now you can see that uh, this thing will go up to about 250 watts. We're at 194, 200. Watch that climb. Now, each one of these PTC heat elements, you buy them in a two-pack. They're two for $10, so they're running you about $5 a piece. So, with just the heat elements on two of these heaters, you're looking at $50 and another $20 for the power supply. And I just had some cords and wire laying around to finish this off along with the flower pots. Okay, you can see we're up to 202, and it's starting to drop down now. This thing will take and uh, level off somewhere around that 80 watt area with just one heater going. With two, it'll be around 160, and if you use a 12 volt fan, you'll punch it up to about 180 watts. Now that's cheap power to heat your coal frame overnight and I just let it run 24 hours a day and I open it up during the day just to, to let the, the heat out or my uh, automatic vent opener for a greenhouse on there will open that lid up with no problem. You can see now we're dropping down to 165. Let's do a temperature check on this. Okay, we're up to 185, 187, let that go. And it'll, it's going to take about a half hour for this to get up to full temp. Okay, <clears throat> it's been about 10 minutes now. Let's do another temperature check. We're up into that 245 area. And climbing. Okay, another 10 minutes has passed. Let's do another temperature check. We're down to 108 watts, and we're up to 270 some degrees, and still climbing. Yeah, 300 there now. In six months that these things have been constantly going. For all my fellow YouTubers that watch my videos, there's a couple things you want to take into consideration. The first is, we can do this. Just have a basic knowledge of hand tools and also electricity if we're doing anything in that area and have fun doing this. So if it's outside your expertise, 
take and educate yourself either through other YouTube videos or ask a friend or your brother-in-law. No, he may want to get you. Okay, with that in mind, let's take and have some fun and do some of these projects.